kept a lot for when Michael would arrive because he's such a huge, iconic star and his Batman is imprinted in every retina in the world. One of the most exciting things to, to take on was Michael Keaton's new Batsuit. We all know very well, particularly in the costume world, the original bat suits that he wore in the 1989 movie and in Batman Returns, I think, 92. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to be really true to the technology involved in those costumes, the look of those costumes, and what would have happened in 30 years to those costumes. What would they have become? How would they have developed? One of the folklores about Michael Keaton's original costumes were that they were really constrictive and hard to move in. And then he developed as part of his character what they called the Batman lean, where, you know, he was unable to look up or look down, look left, look right, so he used his entire body to make those moves, very famously kind of leaning back to look up and look down to... And so we took it on ourselves to try and create a new rubber bat suit that would be much more flexible, much more comfortable, much more usable. But when Michael put the cowl on, the first time he explained to him, I said, hopefully, Michael, we've put more movement into him. And he's going, no, I can't have that. There's no way we can have movement. It's got to be that that's, that's, <laughs> that's the really important thing. OK, Corey, we will make sure it's, it's nice and <laughs> for you trying to help, you know, best laid plans and all that. We got a report from Alex Byrne, our costume designer, that he had gone very emotional when he first put on the suit because it had been 30 years to see Michael in the suit. That was incredible, absolutely incredible. It's a film memory I'll definitely take with me. Michael is the ultimate pro. He plays everything very small to the degree that you almost can't catch it. But then it's projected onto the big screen and it is unbelievable. The amount of control he has over his face muscles, his eyebrows, his eyes, his mouth. Even when it's done at the smallest, he is telling you exactly what needs to be told. You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. And it's something that I had never seen to that extent. For me, it was magic, and I, I think for, for Andy too. 